eh, safi dawa ya Dennis siku zote nikulipa mtazamaji na kwa hiyo eko leo ikiwa ni siku ya Ijumaa majira saa mbili hadi dakika saba zimeshapita tangu tulipoahidi kwamba tutakuwa tunakuja hewa lakini tumekosa kwa dakika kama kumi hivi kwa hiyo ndasema pole kwanza lakini ni heri kufika makosa ni heri kufika badala ya kukosa kufika mtazamaji kwa hiyo hiki ni kipindi cha walk with Sagini eh jilangu jisa msagini askofu mko michezo ni mwinguni kuna wageni wageni wangu Faith Ogalo chini yangu hapa alafu kanda yangu hapa amekaa kocha Jack Oyui kwa jina la Utani ama kwa jina lake hadisia jina la ID ni Eliaki Motena ambao huyu ni kocha wa Taekwondo na ye Faith Ogalo ni mwanariadha ama athlete tukipenda katika mchezo wa Taekwondo kitengo cha heavyweight ambaye amefuzu ya kuelekea mashindano ya Olimpiki mwaka 2020 mashapa atakuwa analiwa mwaka ujao kuanzia tarehe 23 mwezi Agosti mwaka 2021 katika taifa la Japan tukutazungatia sana matangazi sana maisha yake ya michezo alianzia wapi na akaenda vipi akasafiri vipi akafikaje hadi katika ulingo wa michezo maana anafahamu kwamba kabla ya kujiunga na Taekwondo alikuwa katika mchezo yote ile ikiwa ni basketball alikuwa katika basketball alikuwa pia kwenye mchezo wa riadha pia kwenye netball pia kwenye kandanda kwa hiyo utakuja kuangalia basi je amekuwaje katika mchezo huu wa Taekwondo na je manufaa yake pia ni gani katika mchezo wa Taekwondo Ito galo kwanza wote na kocha Jason Delis Njoroge natumai mwazima niko mzima pia nashukuru Mungu Right kocha wangu Oyugi uko vipi pote ulipo Umemute sauti yako kocha unmute sauti yako umemute sauti yako kusikii okay. Hello Safi Ya niko salama zaidi na shukuru sana bwana Dennis Hoja na wafuasi wetu wote. Aha. Eh asanteni. Moja kwa moja kwa mazungumzo ya mtazamaji, kumbuka unasema nami kupitia mtandao wa Twitter at @jason_sagini at underscore Sagini at Njoroge underscore Dennis tu hashtag unayotumia pale bila shaka yote kiwa. Ni walk with Sagini the sports arc bishop. Kwa hiyo moja kwa moja tuweza tuweze kuanza mazungumzo yetu ya leo ambapo tutakuwa tunaanzia kwanza kabisa kocha wangu Oyugi hebu muelezee ile ambayo ajui mchezo wa taekwondo ni mchezo upo na chezoaje na kwa njia gani kwa yule ambaye hajui taekwondo ni nini uh, mchezo wa taekwondo ni mchezo ambaye inaweza chezwa na mtu yeyote ni mchezo ambaye inachezwa kwa njia ya kupiga ngumi mm-hmm. kurusha mateke na pia iko na mchezo zingine kama ku dance taekwondo dance uh-huh. and uh, we also have taekwondo breaking mm. yeah all right so inacheza kwa dakika ngapi dakika ngapi hivi zinachezwa katika mchezo wa taekwondo oh it depend when it is taekwondo competition uh-huh. especially for for the the fight then uh-huh. it is 2 minutes Mm. of three rounds uh-huh. with one minute rest in between okay. but uh, when it is demonstration it depends it can be f- three to five minutes uh-huh. yes so doctor kule ambayo ujitai kuondoa ameshakueleza kwamba tai kuondoa ni mchezo huu ambao unachezwa eh kwa dakika chache tu hapa sasa moja kwa moja Faith Ogalo mwanariadha ambaye amefuzu kuelekea Olimpiki mwaka ujao akiwa ni kitengo cha heavyweight hapa ambaye ni wa kipekee tangu mwaka 2008 Kenya haikuwa ishiriki katika mashindano haya ya taekwondo maana mwaka huu 2008 kule Beijing kulikuwa na kina wachezaji wawili ambao walikuwa ni kina Milka Akinyi na Dickson eh, wa, wa Mwiri ambao walishiriki katika mashindano yale ya Beijing Olimpiki kule wapo wote hawakuweza kutoa medali yote ile katika mashindano haya yale na ni kwamba sasa Faith Ogalo ndiye kwanza kabisa kuweza kufuzu maana yake Faith Ogalo ni mwanafunzi katika chuo kikuu cha Kibabi mwaka wa tatu bachelor's in degree of arts and social work. Faith Ogalo, ulijipataje katika mchezo okay. wa Taekwondo? Ah uh, ndo changu kwanza kucheza mchezo wa Taekwondo mm. ilikuwa ni katika chuo kikuu cha Kibabi University kwa usaidizi wa coach wangu Eliaki Moteno na games tutor Mr. Amwanzo. Eh, watu na mwita African teacher eh, maana yake nilikuwa nikicheza mchezo mwingine kwa bidii na raukia mazoezi nafanya na bidii yani ile kupenda na sporti sana coach akaona niko determined so akaniambia faith unafanya vyema katika hizi mchezo zote ningependa pia ungejaribu taekwondo 
pia utafanya vyema jinsi inavyofanya katika mchezo mwingine. Hivyo sasa ndio nilizikuta nimeingia kwenye mchezo wa taekwondo pia. Ah, ulijaribu teni, ulijaribu netball, ukajaribu basketball, pia ukajaribu kandanda na pia riadha. Hebu niambie katika kandanda, netball, basketball, riadha. Ni wapi ambapo ulipata kana kwamba kuna uraisi fulani? Sawa, kama basket mpira wa vikapu basketball nilianza nayo tangia nikuwe chuo kikuu and then mbio nilianza nikiwa tangu nikuwe mdogo nilikuwa sana napenda kukimbia lakini saa sikupata mtu wa kunimenta kwenye sport so mm. nikakuja kwenye chuo kikuu niposa ndoto yangu ya kujaribu michezo mbalimbali nikaweza kuiona sababu mm. kwa ule mchezo wote ambao ni kwa nikifanya nilikuwa nafanya vyema sababu coach alikuwa akiniambia all the time once you've trained and you are fit you only need a skill in any other given sport you can do it so long as you're just uh, fit so i used to work hard to be fit all the time so that's how i just landed in the gondo in every sport i was just doing well because i was ever fit and then i look at the skill today i come watch tomorrow i find myself in the field doing it mm. yeah so katika basketball na labda ulipata medali ngapi tajie aya kwenye basketball huwa hatuna medali huwa tuna trophies yeah trophies ngapi mbona ulipata labda trophies na vet so unajua trophies bado sikuwa nimepata yoyote unajua basketball basketball ni mchezo wa timu so, so lazima watu wote wajikaka finali au hata zingine mnatolewa kwenye mechi ya pili so kufika kule juu si kwa bado nimefika lakini vieti ninavyo vya basketball vingi sana certificate all right okay coach wangu uh, Elia Kimotieno kwa pale nimeona kwamba kidogo ume mute microphone yako tafadhali ni mute microphone kwa yako kocha wangu Yugi tuweze kusikizana ili tuweze kuelewana asante sana eh kocha wangu Yugi kisa uh, ukiangalia ulivyo atakaribu uh, netball akajaribu kandanda lakini yote hakufaulu sasa kajitwika ama kajipata katika mchezo wa taekwondo ile transition ya kumtoa kwenye basketball hadi kwenye taekwondo mlifanyaje kama kocha hadi mkakupa kwamba ile talanta yake ya basketball bado ipo katika talanta ya taekwondo Uh, basically siwezi sema ya kwamba katika basketball ama rihada hakufaulu mm. Faith Ogalo did well in uh, athletics and i remember her giving me five gold five medals mm-hmm. in athletics uh-huh. within one day until other his officers told me that uh, hey, what in yenyu everything <laughs> yenyu so she was just a performer first of all she went for walking race uh-huh. 10000 and she got bronze medal joined uh-huh. 10000 uh, uh 10000 race uh-huh. and got silver medal again she tried 3000 adults and got bronze medal so mm-hmm. basically faith ogalo is a sports lady and that is the reason why i got admired in her talent and her dedication towards sports uh-huh. that is how uh-huh. i hooked her yes yes mm-hmm. sasa ile transition ya kumtoa kwenye michezo tofauti ukamleta kwenye taekwondo ilikuwa ngumu ama ilikuwaaje ilikuwa rahisi ama ilikuwa ngumu tueleze uh, ilikuwa sio ngumu zaidi japo kwa kulikuwa na some of the drills mm-hmm. that are different like how basketball take it is different with the way taekwondo does it eh. but otherwise the transition was easier because she is somebody who is physically fit and does exercise on a daily basis so mm-hmm. the transition was easy it was just a matter of instilling uh it was just a matter of instilling the the technical skill and tactical skills in her right faith ogalo ukajipata katika mchezo wa taekwondo hapa narusha mateke narusha ngumi sasa ile kucheza professionally mm-hmm. ulianza kucheza sijui 
mchezo professional ulianza hadi ukajipata unacheza katika mchezo huu wa taekwondo ile professionally sasa okay yo 2018 around uh, march april mm-hmm. uh, wao wakati ndio niliingia ni baada ya ku train kwa wiki moja nikiona watu jinsi walivyokuwa kufanya na baada ya ku skills basic skills kidogo na ndio asikuwa nielewa vizuri kocha na shule ya kibabi university huwa tunapelekwa michezo mbalimbali nje nje ya nchi kama vile Rwanda eh, Rwanda wanatufahamu vyema sana wanapenda wa Kenya sana sababu ya kupeleka huko kushana na wao ni wasafi kwenye taekwondo pia wanajua huo mchezo vizuri so huwa wanafurahia sana tukipelekwa huko na kibabi university na pia kocha wetu na games tutor huwa wanatupeleka huko ili waone nini hasua watakusaidia kwenye mazoezi wajue shida yako iko wapi ukiwa unapigana na kwenye ring so wakishajua where the problem is wanaku wanaku cancel na wanakuambia technical skills ambazo unafaa utumie opponent akiwa hivi unafaa ufanye hivi the ways to go while you are in the ring inakusaidia sana because you cannot just train and you don't gauge yourself so tukipelekwa competitions even the, in the east african games in dodoma we were in the university of dodoma i know people from dodoma there they are watching also they felt challenge you know there are most of the ladies were, were not doing they go it was only men Mm. but also the lady from Kenya so they also wanted to join them the taekwondo thing you see mm. so they found it interesting so that's how actually i came to enjoy taekwondo because now you see as sports person you will only enjoy the sport when you are going out like when you are touring like outside like i'll say outside Kenya you see yeah. so yeah. i found taekwondo like from the history they were are going to Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania. So and then when you also look at these other sports, they had just gone to nationals in Nairobi, Embu. So I've been to Nairobi, I've been to Embu. So I also so had to look for an opportunity to provide and then get there. All right. So so ukizungumzia kuhusu kusafiri mataifa mbalimbali umetaja kuhusu Rwanda hapa ndema ndio mengi sana Dodoma kule Tanzania umetaja. Sijui mataifa haya ni bara Afrika lakini bado kuna ile culture shock. Unaposafiri katika taifa jirani mara nyingi unapata kwamba kuna ile tamaduni ambayo kule hausawiani na tamaduni za hapa Kenya. Sasa ile culture shock uliyopata culture shock kuelekea kule Doma, kule Rwanda uliyopata ulipata ulipata na culture shock yote ile. Kama ipo niambie ni gani? Ah uh, hapana. Jaikuta hmm na tukikutana kwa ajili ya mchezo ya kisporti unapata ajenda yetu sote ni moja utapata watu wengine wako kwenye netball so unapata kuna ile kupendana kuongea vizuri mna unajua na sporti kuna ile kuelewana hata kama kuna language barrier kuna ile mkiongea kuna ile kuelewana even when you are using sign language so nothing okay yeah. yes, so unapata uh-huh. vya kula kienda nchi nyingine na vila tu ni sawa so hakuna um, culture shock sasa hebu kocha wangu niambie yeah. katika ile kuangalia basi mchezo na wake unakuwa kabla ya kurejea kwake ifeto gani anaweza kuniambia anajisi vipi kuwa mwanamke katika mchezo huu wa taekwondo kwa nafasi yako kama kocha mkuu eh, wa timu ya taifa ya taekwondo nafasi ya wanawake katika timu ya taekwondo na mchezo wa taekwondo huu nchini ipo wapi na inaelekea wapi katika miaka ambayo inakuja Uh, Kenya Taekwondo uh, 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 ladies team I can say generally in general Kenya we have got a lot of potential in Taekwondo the only challenge that we normally have is late preparation and uh, maybe resources you find like right now people have started uh, a journey to Olympic mm-hmm. 2024 but uh, in Kenya here due to resources and you see uh, these are young teenagers who also have to do one two three to earn a living so 
the bigger challenge is uh, resources and uh, fundings. Uh, otherwise, if we can get resources and funding, fundings like right now, uh, believe me or not, uh, 2024 will take like around, uh, not less than four in Olympics. We can mm -hmm. take two ladies and two men, I'm quite sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, and like even you. our ranking in Taekwondo is likely to go higher if we have resources. Like now, when we play in Africa, you find that uh, uh, you find that uh, you go there like underdog, not because uh, you are not the giant. Kenya is a giant in Taekwondo, but it is simply because the other parties have gone to a lot of ranking games. Yet Kenya, we have gone to limited ranking games. That is the bigger challenge. Otherwise. Uh, Kenya is a powerhouse, Kenya is a giant, and Kenya is likely to perform better than now. And even next Olympic, we are likely to take two female athletes and two male athletes because I'm sure of Kenyans. Uh -huh. Kocha wewe kama kocha amesema, amesema kwamba yeye katika maisha yake kusafiri nje ya nchi ya Jai na culture shock ile ama mshtuko wa utamaduni lakini wewe kama kocha sio kama umepata na kitu kama hichi cha culture shock na kusafiri mashindano ya kimataifa Yeah during uh, during this traveling season mm. I've really faced a lot of challenges especially with the athletes uh, and Ogalo is one of them mm -hmm. uh, she can't remember but I remember well First day and second day, always life is good and nice. Uh -huh. The third day, they'll start telling you, Coach, I don't like this food and it's no longer sweet. We eat well, morning breakfast, lunch, supper. Mm -hmm. The next day, no problem. But the third day, they'll tell you, Coach, me, I don't feel like eating this, I want this, I don't feel like eating this, I want this. That's a bigger challenge. Uh -huh. Yeah. But Faith as seniors, we normally adapt very fast. Faith Ogalo, hebu jibu mashtaka hayo kwamba yeah. unatakula mwazo kuna zipendo. Mesema kwamba haukuwa na shida nazo. Kocha mesema kwamba ulikuwa na shida nazo siku ya pili na ya tatu. Pemeni, chakula gana mochi kwa ulikuwa haukielei vizuri. Actually, kwa mbiye. Eh kama mimi kwa mfano nimekula vyakula mingi sana za asili za Afrika manake wazazi wangu walikuwa na hiyo kiasili ya Kiafrika labda kutembea kuzuru kwa ma inchi mengi uh -huh. kwa mataifa mengi so kule nyumbani walikuwa kipika vyakula mingi sana sana vile vya East Africa hupikwa varieties huko nyumbani so mimi nikienda kwa hizi nchi zote na was patishida na vyakula nile tu labda Rwanda tukienda tulikuwa na tamaa ya maziwa naona huko Kenya maziwa labda bei lakini kule Rwanda maziwa kila mahali kwa kwa wingi So unajua na maziwa ufai kunywa mengi sana. So usikia kwanza eh hey, utakunywa maziwa ya pili kunywa maziwa ya tatu. Ah unajua ujazoea ile maziwa kong ama chai fupi kwa mfano. Yeah. Kule kuna chai fupi eh. So unajua huku tumezoea chai refu labda so kufika kule kunywa maziwa mengi kuna vile utaona siku ya tatu ah ah imekuwa ngumu. Kunywi. Ndio hiyo mtazamaji. Hebu sasa tuzungumze hili Faith Ogalo kuwa mwanamke katika mchezo wa taekwondo na jinsi vipi? Ah uh, mwanzo naisi mwenye furaha sana. Manake mimi nilikuwa mwana sporti kanitangia ni kwa mdogo nimekuja kupenda sporti mimi si kuwa na kasuna jua. Mm. Alafu sporti pia kama mwanamke inamsaidia kuwa mwenye afya unaelewa uko na mm. chef mzuri mwana yeah. afya alafu pia huku kwenye akili ya kusaidia kufikiria haraka kwa mfano unaweza pata wanakuambia kitu unafikiria haraka maana yake sporti husaidia mtu kuwa wa fikra critical thinking unakuwa na critical thinking all times you weigh the situations before labda you criticize you criticize something you already have the knowledge about it alafu pia kwa mke 
ya kwa martial arts watu wengi mwanzo walikuwa wakiamini wanawake hawafai kuwa kwenye poti unelewa mm. so nikiwa hapo na nikafuzu naweza kuambia mabinti wengine kuwa na tuma ujumbe nikifuzu hivi watu wakinifuatilia mabinti utaona pia wataka kufanya mchezo wa taekwondo wengi sana sana huko shuleni wasichana wengi waliweza kujiunga kwa taekwondo baada ya mimi ku qualify kwenda kwenye olimpiki unaona so inasaidia kuondoa ile kasumba kwamba taekwondo ni wasichana tu ni wavulana ama martial art yoyote ni wavulana ila inatuma ujumbe kuwa pia wanawake waweza kufanya vyema katika sporti na kujiendeleza kimaisha vizuri Right mtazamaji unaweza nami kupitia mtandao wa kijamii ikiwa ni Facebook fan page yangu ya kwangu ni Walk with Sagini the Sports Archbishop kwenye Twitter unanipata at Jason underscore Sagini at Njoroge underscore Dennis 2 hashtag pale ni Walk with Sagini naona jumbe zenu mtazamaji kwenye mtandao wangu wa Facebook hapa Tony Juma mtazamaji kipindi Johnson Haji na kuona pia mtazamaji wangu Wickliff Okot kwa mtazamaji kipindi kwa hiyo nitakuwa na somo hapo baadaye lakini kwanza kabisa kabla ya kupanda ndege hadi kuelekea taifa la Japan kwanza na humu nchini kwako kocha wangu Jacko Yugi niambie humu nchini ma- mashindano ya taekwondo mali zetu za taekwondo mchezo huu wa taekwondo una perform vipi hali yake koje katika ligi zetu za hapa nyumbani e, inapaformaje na inaendeleaje uh, taekwondo performance is, uh, is okay mm-hmm. Kenya we produce international standard athletes Uh, the only bigger challenge might be maybe technology a bit uh, uh, you see we have to sometimes borrow the facilities from our neighborhood uh-huh. but otherwise other than that one kenya our ranking level in taekwondo in africa east africa mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, in the world is not bad we are known yes we are known Yeah. So Dr. Mtazamaji baada ya kuzungumzia Taekwondo humu nchini sasa tuvuke boda hadi taifa la Japan. Eh tutakuwa tutavuka baadhi ya mataifa mengi na pia maziwa makubwa kwa kufikia taifa la Japan ambapo tutakuwa na ndama mashindano ya Olympic ya mwaka 2020 mwaka ujao kuanzia tarehe 23 mwezi Agosti ikiwa ni mashindano yale ya Olympic katika jiji lile la Tokyo nchini Japan. Sasa huyu Faito Gara Mtazamaji alishafuzu kuelekea Olympic akitokea chuo kikuu cha kibabi mwaka wa tatu akiwa na degree ya bachelor's in arts in social work hapa na ni kwamba sasa hivi ana miaka 26 na alifuzu eh, kombe ama mashindano haya olimpiki baada ya kumpiku yule eh, mchadi taifa la chada anazungumzia Florence Eljima kwa 27 kwa 21 katika fana ile iliyochezwa mwaka jana nchini Morocco katika jiji lile la Rabat mashindano ya kufuzu kwenye ile olimpiki aliyopigwa mwaka jana mwaka 2019 sasa nataka tuelewe safari hii ilianza vipi kuanzia hapa nyumbani hadi Morocco hadi mkaweza kufuzu kuelekea Olimpiki tuanze na Faito Gallo matarisho yake yalikuwa vipi hapa nchini kuweza kujianda na ile process nzima ilianzia wapi hadi ikatamatika vipi na kuweza kuwa successful uh, mwanzo foundation yangu inatoka kwa spiritual life about mindset kama the word of god is in my heart and the word of god tells me i can do all things through christ who strengthens me then i'm not limited and if i'm limited it's by my own will mm-hmm. remember that no human is limited and if i'm limited it's by my own will. will if the word of god tells me i can do all things through christ who strengthens me then that's how i start my life everything i put it on the foundation of the word of god that i can do all things all i don't care which one but all uh-huh. things through christ who strengthens me so taekwondo was among those all things that i could do better and become someone out of it after i had discovered that there's a potential in this sport i can go places i can fulfill my dreams in taekwondo then i gave it the priority remember i was even playing for basketball for club called uh, western delight under coach lira donald coach don lira yeah he was my head coach uh, western delight basketball team you know i was even in a club So even at times I could skype taekwondo going to play and I could coach 
Ogale, where are you? Coach, you know, I have a lot of assignments. I'm in the library. And then in the evening, they see me in, ka- in Nyayo playing basketball, you see? <laughs> so it was a bit harder to, to switch uh, immediately, but slowly, 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 mm-hmm. I settled. Mm-hmm. And then I decided to start doing Taekwondo. So we started with, uh, we had a uh, national level games, uh-huh. mostly the university game. Okay, the university Yeah, I started Taekwondo actually in university competitions. And then here in Kenya, we also have chairman cups. They usually host it once a year. Maybe it used to be in April holidays, you see. And then that one is where I also started my local arrangement. I started here in my country. I didn't start going outside immediately. From here is when from Kenya, started going East Africa, mm. see Kibabi University, the champions in Taekwondo, East Africa. Now that's how I get myself to East Africa. Again, when I get to East Africa in the University of Dodoma, I got my medal, gold medal, as the champion. So you see, when you receive this, they inspire you. Like the next level, I want to go the next level. See, from there, we went for the national team selection. You know, I'm a student. That time I had exams, when we had the selection, you know, the conflict. So, but you know, I am a sports lady. And once you're doing sport, you're supposed to think critically. At universities, mm. I was able to write a letter to the university, and then they gave me the way forward to go and represent my nation if I qualify. So that letter, I had to go, keeping in mind, I still have my exams. And then I still carry my books. I go read them. I'll come for my special exams, you see? And that's how we balance sports and academic. It doesn't mean when you are in sports, you leave other things that you are doing because there's also life mm. after sports. And then from there, I qualified for the national team. I didn't have that mm-hmm. much big challenge. Qualifying to the national team, we had a prior camp, two weeks in Kibabi University. You see, that was a great privilege that Taekwondo Federation and also Egypt Taekwondo Federation, they had organized for our preparation. I was so much grateful for such opportunity because it was exposing me. No, I was still growing and learning. And yet I'm also still growing and learning. I'm yet to know much because... I'm only two years in the spot, m- meaning there's much that I have to do so that I can get to the, a higher rank. You see, we have higher ranks. So there, I had to put much determination and then be focused. And then, you know, when you're doing, you have to get focused. You don't have to do much of the challenges. Because once you start concentrating on the challenges, you have a poor mindset that will always give you a negative attitude. And once you have a negative attitude in your mind, in your heart, you cannot perform in anything. But once you have a positive mind that I'm doing this for a better future, for a better generation to come, for my country, where I do this, I have to do it for Kenya. And you do it willingly without any attitude. You know, at times, okay, you will find challenges and we tend mostly to focus on those challenges. They'll pull you down. And once you not set, you cannot perform in sports. So from there, we got to the camp, we went to a little bit in Egypt, we came back, and then in Kasarani, to all African games. And there, maybe I had a silver medal, it's here, it was, yeah. maybe you can see it. Yeah, Rabat 2019, I can see it, Rabat 2019. Okay, this was my greatest, uh, though, Okay, my target was mm-hmm. a gold medal, but again, I was so much contented with a silver medal. Because you mm-hmm. see, when you lose in Taekwondo, there is usually that pain that I have to work extra hard. So the next time I meet that op- mm-hmm. opponent, I'll not be the same one. Uh, I'll yeah. be so 
nikajinyakulia medodi ya bronze na ndio kule nilikutana na wachezaji ambao wamecheza na wana experience nzuri and mm-hmm. from european countries you see Mm. This was a great opportunity that I uh, was granted a, an opportunity by Kenya Taekwondo Federation. And then I went represented Kenya in those okay it was an international game actually mm. for Taekwondo. And then this was Ujaira Open. It was early this year. Early mm. this year. As you can see, it was 8th. Ah uh, yeah. Faith kabla uendelee ni kidogo acha twende kwa coach Yogi atuambie coach Yogi kwako e, katika lema ndalizi ya kuweza kujiandaa kufuzo olimpiki kule Rabat Morocco hebu nipe kwa sekunde kwa dakika kama mbili hivi niambie uliendaje kule mkajiandaa kutoka hapa nchini mkasafiri kuelekea Morocco hadi mkaweza kufuzu ile e, process nzima ilikuwaaje paka mkafuzu kule yani kuanzia e, step A hadi step ya mwisho a uh, journey to to Morocco started a long time and go uh, as faith uh, as elaborated there we had a, a training camp mm-hmm. in kibabi university of which took time the training camp was sponsored hand in hand kibabi university and the kenya taekwondo federation mm-hmm. later we received support from the african world African taekwondo mm-hmm. uh, of which it was we were sponsored fully by major uh, by General Foley of Egypt who is the president of World African Taekwondo together with the with his vice chair major uh, Suleiman Tumba who is the president of Kenya Taekwondo Federation and uh, the vice president African World African Taekwondo Federation ha so yes. so, so oh, oh, a journey to moment uh, fully and uh, the national olympic committee uh uh-huh. yeah of course there are challenges of uh, uh of uh, maybe anxiety to win game but uh, we had hope since we had uh, a good preparation i would like to say that uh, success of faith ogallo is not based on his coach on her coach alone there are so many people behind it there are so many coaches behind this what you may we have coach uh, Linus Marangu we have, have coach uh, Mturi we have coach uh, Kamodo we also have the likes of uh, coach Dayo Mwangi we have coach um, coach uh, coach Onesmas Mbati These are the people who have been in this process. The process of Olympic or the process of success of faith did not start today. It started long time ago. And all these people are working hand in hand with our Ebo Federation led by Major Sumba, who is the vice president of Taekwondo Africa and uh, the secretary general George Wesonga. who is also a, a committee member in national olympic committee mm. so like to tell you that uh, a journey of success for faith ogallo was built with so many people we have the uh, inspirational athletes like uh, milka akini vincent do jafet odwo they keep on pushing faith since she she didn't have a lot of experience of mm. course fitness she had because she's a sports lady but that tactical and technical skill uh, was contributed by the the listed coaches and with assistance with ebo athletes ebo fellow athletes All right so faith ogallo 
Kocha amesema kwamba katika mashindano ya kufuzu olimpiki huko na ile tide ya juu zaidi huko na ile experience kubwa sana lakini ulikuwa na zile skills. Sasa nikupeleke moja kwa moja hadi katika finali ambayo ulicheza dhidi ya Florence Eljima kutoka Chad ukampiku ya kwa 27 21 katika finali ile. Hebu niambie katika finali ile kama lengi kuwa tuko kwenye ring sasa. Hebu tuambie ungeendaje? Uliendaje? Hebu tupe environment ilikuwa ni katika ile finali dhidi ya huyu mchaji. Kwanza katika raundi ya kwanza dakika mbili nilipoteza alikuwa juu yangu kwa lama sita kwa na moja si kufaroho ya pili kawa katika 15 nikiwa bado sita kwa kumesimamishwa hivi kulisimamishwa unajua katika mchezo labda kitu kikifanyika inakubaliwa referee asimamishe mchezo so kasimamishwa ikiwa dakika moja imesalia kwenye raundi ya pili kwa misi kufa moyo manake nilikuwa nishajambia kwenye akili god has mind in the hands so it's a matter of me taking it okay. i didn't lose hope i will i had faith and i knew all mountains can be moved if i have faith so i still saw it as a mountain on my side but i knew that this mountain is going to be removed so i still remain focused basing on the word of god i i, I was not even in fear because i had the mindset i'm going to make it no matter how time that i'm left with it i'll still make it so hiyo round ya pili tukaenda kutoshana 17 17 aya round ya pili kielekea kuisha 21 21 Ah tukaingia round ya tatu. So round ya tatu ya pili ilikuwa 17 nikawa 15. Yeye alikuwa mbele 19 nikawa 15. Mm. Nikafurahia sana. Maana yake nimetoka. Moja nikaenda sita sana nimefika 15. Bado yuko mbele yule msichana. Lakini mimi siku sikufa moyo. Sasa kile nilifanya niliendelea kumsikiza sekonda wangu hapo na pia nikijua kwenye akili yangu lazima unajua kushinda lazima ianze mindset how you set your mind mm. but when you put fear in mind you can't do it or you can't make it so the third round i say now this is my time i have to fight like you, you see the spirit also there is a spirit that you have to fight to the end even if you're tired you not take only sorry six but you get tired so quickly that like no i have to go so I, i was like fighting like a I'll never fight again in the third round and i said fight any time i come the fight so and that's how at the end i just saw that oh galo has won so i knew i was making so because i believe in myself not as a loser mm. but as a winner and that's how it came all right coach wangu yubi tuseme alifuzu tuseme leo eh, wakati kama sasa mwaka ujao eh, mashana ni kwacha mwaka huu mashana ni kwacha shata mati sasa tuseme sasa hivi kama mashana hange yangeandaliwa mwaka huu kule japan sasa hizi tungekuwa na medali ngapi medali ipi sasa hizi tungekuwa huh? na gold medal uh, winning a game you win before ready one and she told me one thing coach i am going to win and she won mm. when we were going to dodoma in tanzania east african games mm. she told me coach i am going to win when we went to rwanda uh we went to rwanda korean ambassador cup mm. she told me coach i am going to win huh? when we went to when we went to oh the, i can yeah. see it there when we yeah. went to rwanda genocide memorial she told me coach 
I am going to win. Positive. Has positive attitude toward the game. They always win. Mm -hmm. Winning a game is not in the field. You win before you reach there. All right. Sasa, tuzani swala hili ambapo education and sports masomo na michezo. Manake, manareda wetu ambapo nifuzo kwa lakio olimpiki full work. Sasa, kucha wangu yugi michezo ina umimugani katika uh, masomo kundradhi na umimugani katika michezo. Manake, ujiyo na degree. Manake, watu wengi wanajio kwamba wanadhana kwamba wanasputi wetu hawaja soma. Lakini, kikwele kabisa wamesomo, wana degree zao zimekaa nyumbani. Wana stashada zao ambazo wamezisomea. Sasa, situi, hii masomo ina umimugani katika michezo. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, hmm. uh, masomo ni muhimu zaidi. Maana hmm. saizi uh, the current world uh, games is about technology and uh, the the training has turned to scientific the games has turned to scientific even if you look at taekwondo game we no longer use manual we use the system that means you need to your upstairs need to be superb otherwise yeah. you cannot make it and uh, education is very, very important. And it had been that uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ogalo didn't have a good uh, basic education. She could have had a, a lot of rough time during the transition from basketball to Taekwondo. But mm -hmm. having been that she is a scholar, that helped her a lot. Because most of the games are won on the table. It's about tactical and technical. Unlike uh, before the game used to be how fit you are. Right now you can be fit, but because of technology, you lose the game. Mm. So I would like to say that uh, education is very, very important. Even mm. though faith is undergoing a very hard time, but I always tell her that, that Without those, without education, you can't make it. What makes you reason in ring mm. is your mental ability, which is education. Mm. What makes you better in life mm. is mental skill, which is education. Otherwise, you can be fit, but unless you have, you are smarter, you lose technically. All right, Faith Ogalo. Sasa, sijui katika michezo, kocha nasama kwamba elimu ni musana katika michezo. Sasa, wako wele, eh, sporti ama taekwondo ni plan A yako ama ni plan B? Uh, mwanzo, zote kwangu ni plan A. Uh -huh. Michezo na yagini. Marake sport, napenda sport, napenda uh -huh. elimu. Zote ni plan uh -huh. A. Manake, Mimi ni mzobi katika social work. Na, social work, I can be a counselor. Okay? A therapist, you know. I can join with sports because I've done sports. I know the psychology of sports. I can be a sports psychologist. Mm -hmm. Foundation comes to social work. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. And then, also, sports, installs discipline. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of deviance. Maybe if I, uh -huh. I was not in sports, maybe I could be a drunk at the law. But the sport mm -hmm. tiny I'm ever tiny myself. If I know I'm supposed to wake up at four to go for my run, I make sure by four I am up. Mm -hmm. By that time I get to my class. You see, I have a group discussions with my classmates, my third year classmates in Tibabi University. Mm. I cannot tell myself that I'm a champ. I come to learn a, a lot from other people. 
people from different countries, from different uh, tribes, and all. I get to know people more. So that gives me an opportunity of being an ambassador. I don't know what I'm expecting from this community, mm. and I don't take it on with a negative attitude, but mm. with a positive attitude. Mm. You see, that's how I connect sports with my career. They are going in line together. And then, you see, sports mm. brings discipline. In social work, there are units that I'm, I've been taught by my lecturers. You see, my lecturers are several, like Mr. Wanyoni, and then Robert, mm. Dr. Robert Wakula, the likes of Mr. Leti, Doris Ambassa, all those lecturers. And then I have a DOD called, uh, okay, they have shown me the line, you see, like deviance. I've studied deviance a lot in social work, but with sports, you know, like you can use it to correct something, using sports to, to correct something. Because when these right. young people, energy is consumed in sports. They stop like wasting time taking drugs, you see, wasting time idling around. If you use your body, you push yourself. You can do all things. When you're fit, you can actually do everything. Like me, even if I'm given a job, I, I cannot tell myself, I can't do it. But I get there, I learn the skill, I do the job. You see, really, really. that's how academics connect with Right, kabla kulizungumzia swali la discipline katika mchezo wa taekwondo na umimu wake, ni somo jumbe zao katika mtandao wa Facebook hapa mtazamaji wangu na kuona Eric Opili anasema kwamba kila la Harry Peter Gallo, asante sana. Tony Juma anasema my mentor coach Jack Oyugi senior and Faith Ogalo I'm locked in Adi Tamati. Na kuona pia Johnston Haji anasema kwamba bro ni kondani ndani ya Sports Arena na Jason Sagini. Kaka hii Haji hii si Sports Arena. <laughs> Hii ni work with Sagini, his sports arena, hii ni work with Sagini. Na kuona pia Samuel Litaba anasema good work guys. Samuel Litaba huyu ni rais katika shirikisho la rollball huko nchini anasema kwamba good work guys. Asante sana Samuel Litaba. Na wengine kama vile kina Erin David Texaira na kuona pia Charles Mokaya, Awor Odoro anasema kipindi na kuona pia Sampaio Dennis huko ndani. Na wengine ambao tutakuwa nasoma hapo baada ya baadaye. Sasa coach wangu Oyugi uh, uh, Jaka katika mchezo wa taekwondo nitajie umuhimu wake na katika kitengo kile cha discipline kina itimisha uh, nidhamu kwa asilimia ngapi na kwa njia gani aswa yeah, uliza tena alright yeah, so uh, Kiswahili raisi yeah, okay sawa so, sawa so, so katika mchezo wa taekwondo coach wangu Yugi eh, yeah. important yake ni gani yani umuhimu wake ni gani kwa jamii oh taekwondo is number one, it is an olympic game uh-huh. by the virtue that it's an olympic game uh-huh. give it uh, a lot of uh, privileges over other sports uh-huh. there's no any other higher competition in the world than olympics uh-huh. and taekwondo is an olympic games so if you participate in taekwondo that means that uh, uh, you are top in the world so uh-huh. Uh, taekwondo also is a is a is a profession like mm-hmm. now you see ladies like faith ogalo in uh, developed countries you will find that uh, she is entitled to a lot of uh, a lot of intensive things mm-hmm. like maybe maybe some salary out of mm-hmm. taekwondo as a game Taekwondo is a job opportunity. Somebody like me, I'm employed in Kibabi University. I've done uh-huh. sports science, but uh, I does a lot. Uh, Samuel Litaba is my, is my trainer at Kenyatta University. He taught me athletics, track and field. Uh-huh. And once upon a time, I told him, Wewe ume, you have sharpened a panga that will cut you. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope she's here. Uh-huh. So taekwondo, like any other game, it is an Olympic game. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a job opportunity. Mm-hmm. 
It's a discipline game by nature. It tempts one. If you are arrogant, mm -hmm. and then you join Taekwondo, you will just find the culture is different from what you are expecting. Uh -huh. And after doing some one, two, three, uh, you will learn to be humble. You can only know that you are not the best fighter after losing a battle or after mm -hmm. doing something small that can, uh, like for example, when people are doing exercise, I remember when we, when we hosted the national team Taekwondo, the first mm -hmm. day in Kibabi University, first thing that we did was athlete fitness testing. Uh -huh. And only two athletes succeeded. And the two athletes who succeeded in that thing were Collins Munene. She was very slim. If you look at her, you can't imagine she can do what she was doing. But eventually she's the one, he's the one who succeeded in fitness test. So it is not about how fit you are, how arrogant you are. It is about how skillful you are. So when you enter Taekwondo and you are somebody who is very arrogant, mm. then you realize that uh, you cannot do like, for example, 50 pusher. Yet uh, Faith Ogalo, who is humble, but can do 50 pusher, then you realize eh, there's, there's something happening. If this person can do this and I can't do it, then there's a problem. You know, today, my friend, if I tell you to, if you throw a stone at me and it didn't reach me, but me, I, I'll take that stone and throw it at the bird. You look at the distance where I've thrown that stone and you will hear the sound that that stone will produce. That one will show you that if I was to beat you with that stone, how will you feel like? It makes you disciplined automatic. Right. Faith Ogalo Kwako Hiri. Zungumzia, the quality of playing internationally sasa. Umecheza kule Rwanda, kule Tanzania, umecheza kule kare mashana ya kufuzo olimpiki, kule rabati, umefika Morocco. Asa, kule mbana kutazama sahivi, ya nasama kama huu mchezo wa taiku ndo nataka hijunge nao. Ebu mwambia kuhusu, ile quality na lazha ya kucheza katika mashindano ya kima taifa. Iko vipi, viwanja vikoje, ushindani pia uko vipi, uh, hali iko vipi, Kila kitu ni kikovipi unapocheza katika viwango vya kimataifa. Kwanza wao wana stadium. Eh, stadium is of quality. Wamejikwa mekisa sana kwenye mchezo wa taikono. Unapata wana kila kutofi na pauti. Kwa hapo kwenye kishana. Wako wamekupa mataifa mbali mbali. Unajua pia kukilisha nchi yako. Unajua kule kwenye kwenye hall kwa wanapanga bendera hapo bendera za mataifa so ukiwa pale unaanza kuziangalia all round then unaona ya Kenya tangu ndio ile unajua utatafuta ya nchi yako mwanzo utaanza kusema ya Tanzania ndio ile ya Uganda ndio utatafuta ya Kenya kwanza ukishaiona basi unajua ah ni jina jina yangu majina yangu yako so unajua hiyo kutuana kuna kwenye timu hadi tuna wale wenye wanatoka kwenye mchezo kwenye KDF members wako kwa timu unaona polisi pia wako kwa timu unaona kushirikiana nao pamoja tukiwa huko wao labda wana experience hiyo kuongeleshana na kutengeneza uhusiano and then networking kule unakutana na marafiki zako unajua unamuuliza hey mali kukoje moroko kukoje wapi kuko yeye Nigeria anaweza kuja huko kunambia mkuje Kenya Kenya is the only country that has a national park in the city. We have mangroves. How am I say it's beautiful? Things here in Kenya, you see, uh -huh. networking. You see, so that when you go somewhere, it's easier for you. You see, networking with friends and that, you know, it's an opportunity. It's mm. not about going to play Taekwondo, but it's also about mm. networking with other athletes and see what they do in their country. And also you see how they invested in sports and how, where is your country. But 
tablet was the ministry of sports, the culture, uh -huh. visiting maybe the youth and all, hoping that someday I might work there. I've already visited and seen how these people have invested in sports. Stadiums, every and a hundred meters you can There's another one, mm -hmm. gone 10 years, there's another one. You see, like even in Morocco, they've invested so much in sports. Mm -hmm. So it gives you the spirit of feeling like, I wish when I go to my country that this should also be there in my country. Mm -hmm. How much will we produce? if we had all, you see, like we don't have those facilities, but you still see Kenyans qualifying, but what if they also, those facilities are also in our country, meaning there are so many people, athletes and youths, who can take in sports and stop the criminal acts, you see, like when there's stadiums all over and it's free, open to every athlete, you see there, their stadiums are open, if you feel like training, you just put on your truck, your shoes, you walk into a stadium, it's free 24 hours. There are stadiums you can even like we used to train even at three, even in midnight you can train because it's well lit, well secured. You see, so you will get to learn a lot of things. Mm -hmm. If I get an opportunity, in my this is what we should be doing. See what others do. Try and also bring it in your country. You see, it makes you grow mentally growing as a leader, you already set your mind that if I get into this position, then I have to set my country right. uh -huh. like that, yeah. Sadakta, eh, nda kwateza kidogo, lakini ebu ngalea simu yako kidogo, nikana kwamba sauti ya kwa vizuri, ebu shugulikia ni mute alafu, umiutia na tuwane kama sauti kwa sawa kabisa. Ukishugulikia hilo feto gano, kwa koko changu jako yugi, itajia labda E, changamoto ambazo mnazipitia katika mchezo huu wa taekwondo humu nchini na mnaposafiri katika mashindano ya kimataifa kwa sekunde chache maana kidogo muda hauna si. Samahani. E, labda tuambie challenges ambazo mnapitia ama changamoto ambazo mnapitia kama wachezaji na kama kocha katika mchezo wa taekwondo mnaposhiriki mashindano ya, ya humu nchini na pia mashindano ya kimataifa. Uh, the challenges that uh we are facing when we go to international games and national and uh, other games as a as a nation as a national team coach is first of all fear of unknown mm -hmm. fear of losing you know after the government the federation the people mm -hmm. friends have invested in you Mm -hmm. and then you are going to competition. Mm -hmm. An athlete doesn't have a rough time like a coach. An athlete simply going to play. If you win, well and good. If you lose, it is okay. But a coach, you have got, you have got, you have, you have got people to ask you, why did you lose? Why didn't we win? Fans are there looking at you. Mm. You didn't do a good job. So the only moment you can smile is maybe after after the competition is over. That is when you can smile. But as long as you're still in competition, it's a mm. challenge. That's the biggest challenge. Right. Faith Ogalo, Kwako, Labda Unalengani, Katika Meka Mena Kuja, your ambitions, what are you aiming at in the next uh, coming years? na vile tunaanza kucheza taekwondo na nikuzu nataka niweke ni tembo yangu pia kwa kwa olympics hiyo haitaishia hapo nataka nirudi nitahidi ni tena all african games mara nyingine ya pili cuz kuna mtu anacheza hadi 36 years so i still have I prepare for all African games because you know the first one I had a silver. The second one I need to put change. I need a goal in the second one. Mm. After the six, I come back prepare for the African games. If we will have more games, God willing, I prepare, attend all other games for my rank, get higher. And then later on, hoping for a six again. From there, hoping for Grand Prix. You know, I want to also play the Grand Prix. 
Grand Prix. Alright, sasa kwa kocha wangu niambie kwa sekunde kama kumi hivi sekunde kumi na tano. What is the future of Taekwondo in Kenya? Uh, uh, in 2024 we are going to produce four Olympian that is two girls two men in uh-huh. short the future of taekwondo in Kenya is brilliant. brilliant and this is as a result of the structures that are there i want to tell mm-hmm. you that uh, the university sports association that is kusa mm-hmm. has given us invested a lot in uh, in taekwondo and the uh, in university games we normally use electronic scoring system they gave us a lot of platforms uh-huh. the universities have also invested in taekwondo the federation has also launched a program for for training that is likely to develop taekwondo athletes from the grassroots level uh-huh. the government has also improved their operation in terms of ministry like right now the athletes are getting some support from the government we can't ignore that one the national olympic committee has also clad the athletes you can see the way of galo is smart that shows you that uh, kenya has invested a lot in taekwondo mm. and taekwondo has got potential thank you Right, uh, Faith Ogalo, kabla ni kupenda fasi ya kweza kuniambia, uh, nani ambao mwechiza nae ambali kuwa ni itafest, hili ambali kuwa ni mechi raisi, mechi ngumu, eh, mechi gana ambali kuwa ni ngumu, mechi ngumu, mechi ambali kuwa ni ngumu, mechi ambali kuwa ni raisi. Kabla ya hapo ni, kuna medali bozi kwa hapo ikanda yako, ntako tuambia hili medali gani, kwa haraka raka manake mda kidogo haunasi, tuambia, hili medali likuwa ni mwaka jana, likuwa ni katakiviki, ni kashinda, likuwa ni silver, hivyo, tujue, sabia labda ni ngapi kwa kujumla, na tujue ni zipi na kwa namba ngapi. Wanja ni wakako sa Ah, kule kizu. Aha. Nyingi kweli kweli ya? Yeah? Okay, I'm new show. Lastly, and then this is my uh-huh. from all African games, as you can see. Uh-huh. Rabat 2019, ya kufuzo olimpiki. Yeah, all that success. Okay. Uh-huh. God, my favor, it's God's favor for my life. And I don't take mm-hmm. it for granted. And to the glory. Alright, sasa eh, Faith eh, kidogo sasa utake kwa vizuri, siji kuna siwa po kanda yako kuna kumendaje, lakini kutukwati kwa njia ilio safi. Ebu, angazia na kuja kwako kabla ya kuja kwako, ebu angalia fanyo karabati moja, mbili, tatu, sautu ye, inakuja kiwa clean. Ukitisengeneza hilo, 
fe, jako yugi upande wako kwa sababu niambie eh, support ya taekwondo iko vipi kufikia sasa hivi na je miaka mbaya inakuja una uh, washauri vipi shirikisho la taekwondo humu nchini wafanyaje ili kuhakikisha kwamba eh, vile viwango vya taekwondo na haiba yake vinainuka na kufikia viwango vya kimataifa uh, currently as i've told you earlier mm. Kenya Taekwondo Federation has launched campaigning for 2024 mm-hmm. both youth olympic which will be in 2022 uh-huh. and uh, 2023 all african games and 2024 mm-hmm. olympics the kenya taekwondo federation has given uh, the kenya taekwondo federation has given the university sports federation mandate to have their own cluster of games Uh-huh. where they start games at grassroots level meet at national level their best athletes they bring to Kenya Taekwondo Open Championship mm-hmm. and play the championship uh-huh. the Kenya Taekwondo Federation also has uh, has inter colleges competitions which they does public schools does theirs on their own private schools also does uh, their competition on their own and eventually all of these are just ladder to success and uh, talent development in taekwondo so the structures that are in place and the support that they have received like for example as i've told you kusa kusa has really supported games all university games they mm-hmm. yes coach come on ipata faith upande wako unanipata eh mimi nakupata aya aki naona kidogo ampotea akirejea hebu nifahamishe kuhusiana na hili kwanza katika mizani hii ya wako itagini niambie labda nimechi gani ambao mwai cheza ilikuwa ni ngumu zaidi Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. The Kenya Taekwondo Federation uh, competition system schedules are well defined and uh, it motivates athletes toward their success because the university circuit is plays is played as university circuit. You see you if you take a, a university athlete to play with other athletes she or he get disadvantage because their training time is shorter than the training time for club so by the fact that the kenya taekwondo has as a uh, and given the mandate to organize their own activities which is played by the university that one alone has supported uh, taekwondo fully and that is the reason why you can see champs like faith arising from nowhere to a champion to a champion faith yes. ogalo kwa sekunde 15 niambie mechi yako ambayo uliocheza ilikuwa ni mechi rahisi sana na what is your biggest achievement katika mchezo wa taekwondo hadi sasa hivi miaka 26 unapoingia 27 kuelekea olimpiki mwaka ujao sauti yako haipo vizuri shika simu kwa mkono labda ndio uweze kuimprove maana yake kidogo una katika 
kupata kidogo kama unaia font valia upate vizuri kama unazo valia upate vizuri unaposoma jumbe zako mtazamaji kwenye mtandao wa Facebook na kuona Samuel Litaba rais wa shirikisho la Royal Bolivia huko kinasema kwamba faith you appreciate your uh, representation as well both locally and internationally huni Samuel Litaba anasema pia kwamba coach Jack the sky is no longer the limit so higher and higher kauli yake Samuel Litaba rais wa shirikisho la role ball humu china kuona pia ambapo kwa mtazama kipindi cha leo na kuona sa Dennis Sampai huko mtazama kipindi Edwin David Exeira na kuona pia Awor Odoro umekuwa nasi kwenye kipindi cha leo na kuona Chale Mukaya Langat Nicolas Ronald Okosa Eric Opili Kiplagat eh, Shadi na kuona pia Tony Juma John Kapombe Jack Oyugi pia na kuona Eric Munyalo Kevin Ange Weekly for Court sawa pia na Voke Bo- Okay, boke boke kwenye leo nasema shukrani sana kwa muda wako mtazamaji na pia kwa wageni wangu leo wamekuwa ni coach Jacko Yugi amokipenda ile ya Kimotieno pamoja na Faith Ogala basi sahihi kidogo sauti imekuwa ni shida Faith Ogala ni pata vizuri sahihi tuweza kuzungumza kwa kauli yako ya mwisho kabla ya kutoka makala leo All right sasa niambie na msafi sa mechi yako ambayo ilikuwa eh. ni ngumu zaidi ilikuwa ni mechi gani Ngumu zaidi eh. Ilikuwa ni kusa kusa nationals uh-huh. in USIU United States International University Africa here in Nairobi against uh, Daisy Kitayu that was still a junior in taekwondo i didn't know much but again, i faced her for, in east african games i had to i won her so that's where my spirit actually developed of winning and then another one was in morocco all african mm-hmm. games the the finals finals it was tough because round one i i had one the lady had 11 and then i was so what can i do should i lose hope i was not myself at that time so later on i was a, i i had to fight harder and then the third round she was around 18 or 19 there i was 11 so i had started catching up and then the time was so good so i lost So that oh. was a bit hard on my side yeah because I had so much Aya, your biggest achievement the gang my biggest achievement to qualify for Tokyo 2020 Olympia. yeah all right Ah yes sawa sawa. Jacko yuko leo kwa mwisho kwenye kipindi cha leo labda kwa wasi hapo nao kwa majuni ya kwenye mchezo wa taekwondo ni upi. Hello, can I hear you? Na namna sema kwamba labda kauli yako ya mwisho kwenye kipindi cha leo kwa vijana ambao wanaibukia katika mchezo wa taekwondo unawaambiaje? Uh thank you once again. Uh I just want to encourage uh, taekwondo athletes. Uh-huh. To keep training. Mm have hopes and also acquire knowledge if you are not in school please go back to school if you are in school please work hard uh-huh. yeah faith galo kauli yako ya mwisho kwa mashabiki na labda kwa wachezaji wa changa wa kiki aswa unawaambiaje mwanzo ningependa kumshukuru captain wangu innocent wafula Kibabi University Edna Sitangi na hey. wale seniors wangu wa Taekwondo wa Kibabi University wote na wapenda yeah. na wafurahie na sana kwa kunisaidia alafu pia wachezaji wote wa Taekwondo wa Kenya mafans wangu wote na wapenda sana 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 e, serikali ya Kenya pia naifurahia sana kwa ile kazi ambayo wanafanya mm. kutusaidia na wazidi kutusaidia sana hadi sports zingine pia tuweze kuinuka alafu pia nimefurahia sana kazi ya media zote Kenya kwa kazi ambayo mmefanya tangu tuanze kasarani tukianza mlikuwa huko kibabi mlikuwa huko tukaenda olympics mko kule tumerudi bado mnaendelea kutujulia hali na kutuengage kwa hizi vipindi ndio zinatusaidia pia for networking and we are growing mm. i'm so much grateful for this opportunity May God bless you all and then I would like to also appreciate my friend Betty mm. Betty Betty Wangare here in the Thobe estate she's my good friend my spiritual fl- friend actually she mm-hmm. she helps me know more about the word of God and actually mm. let me tell you believe in the word of God don't focus your your mind according to the situations or 
problems. You will never go far. But if you just focus your life basing on the word of God, mindset, you will start growing, you receive salvation, you have a peaceful, hopeful heart, full of joy, no problems, no worry in life. Corona is there, everybody keeps safe, follow yeah, the government guide, guidelines. If you don't feel well, yeah, wear a mask. Yeah, wear a mask. If you don't feel well, don't mm. worry. Just walk into just walk into a hospital. You get uh, medical attention, and then mm. all my parents, wherever they are, my mom Mary Adiamba and my dad Makayeko Ngoma. I'm so much grateful. I'm also grateful my my mentor Leonora. Also, she's my mentor, and also I have other friends all over the world. My brothers, sisters, family members, my fans. I really appreciate all people in the world and I love everybody in this world. So I'm so Nobody. grateful. My friend Matthew yeah. Omina. I'm grateful. Everybody, I'm grateful wherever they are. Oh, basketballers. I've not forgotten Western Delights, the KU, the Kina UON, the Kina Equity. I'm still in the sports world. Even the captain net, netball, Helen from Moose. I really love all of you guys. So I'm Nabani, so much grateful. Nabani. And yes. and then all right. to ladies, let us appreciate Taekwondo as a sport, not as a anything but as a sport. And actually it will take us places and we will grow and also make taekwondo be a good sport in the whole world that will carry also the map of sport because it's just fit to everybody yeah wacha wangu yugi huyu ogana ni kama alikuwa na gunia mzima ya salamu maana yake ametaja familia mzima akataja kila mtu unchini yani kila mtu alikuwa na, sa, na salamu gunia mzima amekuja nazo kwenye kipindi chetu kwanza kwa salimia asante yeah. sana, sana kwa muda wenu magwiji faith ogalo pamoja na dada yugi na pia wewe mtazamaji mtazama kwenye mtandao wa facebook kwangu tena wako tsakini the sport bishop nasema asante sana kwa muda wako mtazamaji na kutakila laheri faith ogalo unapokwenda katika mashindano olimpiki mwaka ujao inshallah mwa kwa nasi basi mashindano haya yaweze kuandaliwa na tuweze kuomba sana virusi sivyo kwa naweza kuondoka huko chini na viweze kurejesha ratiba michezo ulimwenguni kwako kocha wa yugi pia anasema asante sana kwa kutenga muda wenu maana yake ni usiku na sasa hivi inasadaka kama inasadaka ya wa kombe la kabingo Europa Inter Milan na Sevilla hapa Romelu kwa kumfukuzia kuweka rekodi mpya rekodi ya mwaka 2000 kwa 1998 97 98 aliyoweka Ronaldo ya kufunga magoli mengi zaidi kwa mtazamo wake wa kwanza akiwa mchezaji wa kwanza ya klabu ni Inter Milan kwa hiyo na mtazamaji wako nasema pia asante sana pia na mwelekezo wa kipindi Dennis Joronge tu nasema asante sana kwa kipindi chetu cha leo na kuona mturi kanini nasema kwamba mturi kanini unasema kwamba thanks for the share i'm able to watch it and on the link tulikuwa tunasema kwamba haipo lakini sasa hivi umeweza kutazama kipindi cha leo asante sana mturi kanini na wote ambao mmekuja kuzama kwenye mtandao wangu wa Facebook anasema asante sana. Kumbuka unaweza tumia mtandao wetu wa Twitter at @jason_ sagini at @dennisjoroge_2 alafu unasema hashtag pale ikiwa ni walk with sagini mko wako Jason Sagini askofu mko mchezo rumenguni na kocha takwali kwamba safari ndefu mtazamaji ila mwisho mwema siku zote ndio hoja hadi weekend ijayo siku ya Jumaa na kipindi kingine cha walk with sagini kuwa na usiku mwema kumbuka zilikuwa nawe sporti sisi na michezo yetu.